Jewish views on contraception generally are that it's allowed. It's very much allowed. This comes from not interpretations of the Bible because the Bible, again, doesn't mention contraception, but from other Jewish legal religious texts. This is the passage for the Talmud, which is a Jewish religious text. Uh, this was needed because there are a lot of topics that aren't covered in the Old Testament. And so scholars, legal experts had to come up with instructions on these topics. What we see clearly is that there are plenty of cases in which people, couples, married women, they are allowed to use contraceptive methods. Here's a couple of other instances of this discussion in the Babylonian Talmud and in the Tosefa. So one of the things that is interesting is the phrase, be fruitful and multiply. So some of these interpretations um, apply for, for Christian views on these topic as well. So that phrase, according to the Talmud, it only applies to men. Right, that that is a directive for men because men, according to these views, were supposed to be the sexual aggressors, and so it did not apply to women. That's that's the interpretation of of these passages. In addition, in the Tosefa, you will note it says, "A man is not permitted to drink a cup of roots in order to not beget." etc. Now, there's a, a couple of different uh, things here, but one of the key things is that this is an allusion to male forms of contraceptives. Before I get to that, I will also add, though, that the be fruitful and multiply was widely interpreted. So, okay, it just says multiply. It doesn't say uh, exactly what that means. So, for some religious experts, that just meant have a kid. For others, it meant have a son and a daughter. So once you accomplish those tasks, you were set, you were free to use forms of contraception. <laughs> really interesting. On male forms of contraception, there are these allusions to it in some of these ancient texts, but there is no specific, like what kinds of roots could be used, what kinds of herbs, what kinds of things could a man use to prevent uh, conception. It is not clear here. Maybe it's referring to kind of gender, but uh, what we don't have any evidence of male controlled forms of contraception other than these mentions.